Hello hackers, Kip K here with a video follow-up to my popular project, the LED Beatbox. Now if you haven't seen the video, there's a link in the description of this video. Take a look, I think you'll like it. Every now and then I'll do these quick follow-up videos and I'll answer questions that are posted in the comments. So here we go. From Austin Combs, if you plug it into a headphone jack, wouldn't that make it where you couldn't hear the music? Well, that depends on your audio source. In my case, my receiver has a headphone jack and also A and B switches, so I can turn on the speakers and also get audio out of the headphone jack. Now, if you're gonna do it through an iPod or iPhone or some other audio device, you would have to hook up a Y adapter and then a speaker output through one of those legs. So that's pretty much the way it goes. And you could also change the connector on this from a mini to an RCA to a quarter inch, pretty much anything you want. From italkfan, hey, great video. Will this setup work in a car working off the battery? Well, yes, it could because cars work off of 12 to 14 volts. So it would work. You would have to reduce the number of LEDs to make it work and obviously hook up a cigarette adapter for your power cord. Tech lover, how many LED bulbs could you connect? Well, that depends on the power you're supplying through your AC adapter. In my case, it was 12 volts, but when I measured it with a voltmeter, it was about 19 volts. And LEDs use three volts, so it's simple math. The power you're supplying to the LEDs divided by three equals the number of LEDs. Now, in my case, I used eight, so I pushed the limit a little bit, but still works pretty good. Well, that's a follow-up to my LED beatbox project. Thanks for watching, and stay tuned for more videos.